Democrats are already looking to November. They have fundraising emails going out in response to this decision. They have a new website up. Speaker Nancy Pelosi looked downcast when she began her press conference. I am personally overwhelmed by this decision. From time to time, I quote this poem. I have no other country, even though my land is burning. Michigan Congressman Andy Levin tweeted a photo of himself in a yoga pose, saying, quote, in a moment of intense anger, I turn inward. Let us release toxicity. I feel like that's the perfect yoga pose for Democratic leadership. Yeah. Very little action and your head is basically up your own ass. Because I don't know if anybody voted for the performative aspect. People just want things done, right? No one cares about kente cloths or singing on the Capitol steps, and especially not poetry, right? I feel like any moment now, Chuck Schumer's gonna throw in a fake pregnant belly and just take a knee in the Capitol, be like, <laughs> we are all pregnant now and we're standing together. <laughs> Why do Democrats do this? Why do they do this? Not once have I seen Mitch McConnell come out and sing a song about how overwhelmed he is. He just gets things done. He never comes out like, oh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> no. Every time he used his power to make a new rule, in fact, that presidents can't appoint judges if it's an election year and they're black. Well, I didn't make him black, that was his dad. <laughs> in fact, watching the Democrats' response, and knowing, knowing that they had multiple opportunities to get ahead of this, it, it made me think maybe voters should change things up. You know, maybe you should do a new thing in America. Instead of fundraising emails, maybe you should do fund rewarding emails, right? Yeah, make the Democrats show you what they've done and then you donate to their cause. Instead of them being like, donate, we'll do something, and then they don't. What are they doing? <laughs> it's the same reason. It's the same reason I don't pay my barber before he does the job. <laughs> yeah, he'll get his money after I see what he does with my hairline. I'm not making that mistake again. <laughs> and now please, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the Democrats are doing nothing in response to this ruling. The Biden administration has said that it would fight any attempt to restrict access to abortion pills, regardless of state laws. And they'll protect people who travel out of state to get a legal abortion. Plus, the Senate Judiciary Committee says that they're gonna hold a hearing next month to explore its options. Yeah. Yeah, so they're coming through with both too little and too late. Very nice, very nice. The full range. Oh, and, and, and in case, and in case you're wondering what Republican lawmakers think of telling women what they should do with their own bodies, well, they're celebrating the win of small government over the people. Cheers from anti-abortion rights advocates, some celebrating the decision they've been working toward for decades. We are the post generation! Over the weekend, President Trump took a victory lap on his conservative court appointments at a rally with Republican House member Mary Miller, who made these controversial comments. I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. A Utah state legislator is under fire for her remarks defending Utah's new abortion ban. And my response is, I do trust women enough to control when they allow a man to ejaculate, so inside of them, and to control that intake of semen. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, did she say women should control their intake of semen? <laughs> how, how? By, by, by turning the little tap that's on the top of the penis? <laughs> is that turning that? That's enough, I don't wanna get too pregnant. Ah, ah. That other woman with Trump, that was even worse. She literally thanked Trump for saving white life. And to be fair, to be fair, she later said that she misspoke and meant to say right to life. But okay, here's the thing. Even if she misspoke, she still just kept on talking without fixing it. It's like she heard herself call it a victory for white life and thought, yeah, that sounds like something I would say. Yeah, <laughs> let's stick with that. What's even worse is that the Trump supporters applauded her. Right? Even if we give her the benefit of the doubt, the reaction from the crowd is pretty telling, right? I mean, it's, it's one thing for a person to accidentally rip a fart in an elevator, <laughs> but it's way worse if everyone else in the elevator goes, oh yeah, yeah, that's the good stuff. 
Yeah, we like that. We like that a lot.